What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today it is early. <laughs> it is so early. Uh, I am up and out. I am going fishing today with Julian from Bite the Bait and our boy Chris Offshore. Now today we are going after a few species, mahi, snapper, uh tuna maybe some tuna who knows but we're going after a few species here maybe a couple catch and cooks hopefully today is a good day i got a good feeling we're not going to be off for too long but we're going to head out there i haven't been offshore in a long time a lot of you guys have been asking for saltwater videos as well as some saltwater catch and cooks so here we go let the day begin <laughs> All right, guys, we came up to a little spot. There's a bunch of birds, a bunch of bait. We're about to drop our lines in. Oh. That's a little mahi, keep them in. Julian, first fish. First mahi, the little one. Nice. It'll be on the boat, guys, it'll be on the boat. Pass me that towel, dude. There you go, Julian's first. Yeah, bro. Nice, dude. Oh, oh and he's off. He's gone. <laughs> Go. Get him, bro. On the jig. Chris on, on the jig. On the jig. Little guy. If he comes with the school, get ready. Yeah, the school's right behind oh, him. Fit behind him. Fit behind him. Fit behind him. Oh my god. Doubled up over here. Hopefully we can triple up. Whoa! This one might be a triple keeper. Alright, pull yours in, Julian, hook up and take them off. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Come over. Come under. Oh, They're right behind him. One guys. Right here, dude. Oh. Chris is, I, I don't know why I'm not getting bit. I just don't have the finesse, bro. What pound leader are you using? 25. They smell my uh, no confidence. They know. That's why they don't bite. They smell the no confidence? Yeah. I did their god. I just saw one like two seconds. Here we go. There you go. Get him. Get yeah. him. Oh, he <laughs> came off. It's okay. Keep throwing chunks in, bro. No. It's oh. Not work. You Where might need to get the, the gap for this one. Yeah, it's a bigger one. Where's the jump? Oh, that's a good one. It's a good one. Got any, got any chasers? Yeah, that's a good one. It's actually a good one, yeah. It's a keeper. He's not jumping. Hey, Julian's second. Dang, second keeper, dude. Whoa, be careful, dude. Be careful. What are you? a good way to break a leg. Almost had a fail compilation going on right there. Yeah. Nice, dude. Keeper, baby. Very nice. Julian's slaying it, bro. There you go. Yeah, up Julian's right, keeper. We'll take a look at them later. Let's yeah, yeah. Guys, right, check out Julian's two keepers. Not bad, right? Not Boy's bad killing it, dude. I got three hits. I caught three so far. Nice. Not bad. Just got hit and missed one. I lost one. Those are the two first keepers that we've got of the day. Man, look at how lit up. You see all the spots on them? Beautiful. Yeah, bro. It's going to make some good dinner good later dinner, tonight. Good dinner, boy. A little looser? Too loose. A little tighter? That's good. He's off, though, for sure. Stole it. <coughs> what a hit. <coughs> you saw that rod bend, bro? I saw it. Dude. I saw it like right out of my peripheral. No, I think like, uh, you like Imagine you still had him on. You got it. No, I think I got it's it. It's just a light rod there. Oh, yeah, he's oh, on. No, you're on. You're on. I got the mango. That's what happened to me the other day. What the heck? You got a good one, bro. Broke you? It broke me, dude. What the fuck? What was you that? You're a leader, bro. 50. No, 50, bro. 50, then you're lot. Then you're not slipped. No. Yeah, no, yeah, you didn't. Not. That's a break, yeah, dude. That's your... right, guys, well, we are off the water. Man, I had a rough time. I lost a lot of fish, and didn't catch any mahi. I lost a couple of mahi. Lost some massive snapper, but we're back, and we're gonna fillet one of these mahi. Julian from Bite the Bait is so generous to donate a mahi to the channel so yours truly can try it for the first time so what we're going to do we got our little cutting station we're going to go ahead and fillet this fish head back to the house try it out for the first time and give you my opinion on it but let's not waste any time let's cut up these fish bro let's do it bro 
guys so we are back at the cribbo and of course it is raining does it stop raining here in south florida but today we are not going to let the rain stop us we're going to go ahead and take this beautiful mahi steaks that we have and we're going to grill them we're going to have some grilled mahi tonight so what we got to do first is obviously get these coals nice and hot and then we're just going to season our mahi lightly throw them on the grill and have some tasty grilled mahi it's my first time trying mahi so i am super pumped let's get started we have like three medium sized steaks so we're not going to go overboard we're not going to put too much charcoal just a few and center them up get the heat all centered i think that'll be good i also have a couple more why not so we're going to let these coals get red fire hot and once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and lay our mahi down. All right, so these coals are super, super hot. Now, while these grills heat up here, I'm gonna go ahead and season my mahi. Here is the mahi steaks that I have. They look great. We're gonna do simple seasoning, guys. Garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of salt, and that is it. We're gonna throw them on the grill, and that's how we're gonna have them today. So let's just season these really quick. Little bit of onion powder both sides of course and a little bit of garlic powder rub that in we're going to go ahead and throw our steaks on oh yeah got a little bit of that sizzle going i don't know if you guys can hear that but they are cooking oh there we go all right so they're on you guys i'd say it's going to take about Ooh, that is hot. So it's probably gonna take about five ten minutes. There is some really really strong heat coming off that and I cannot wait They look beautiful. Look at those things. All right, so these have been sitting for about five minutes We're gonna go ahead and check them out. See if they're if it's time for them to be turned. Oh my god Look at that nice golden brown. Ooh, looks nice and crispy not burnt at all. What's going on here? Is this a tall fisherman J video or what check this one out. Oh, yeah That is Perfect. And this one, same. Wow, these are cooking very, very nicely, you guys, on the grill. Super pumped. We're gonna give them another five minutes on the other side, and I'd say they're done. All right, you guys, these mahi are done. They got a little bit of barbecue char on them, but hey, when I'm barbecuing, I don't mind a little bit of char. These things look so good, and the smell is incredible. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these things on a plate and try them for the first time. Look at that, fresh grilled mahi mahi, ready to go. Let's head to the table, I cannot wait. <laughs> All right guys, we are back yet again with another catch and cook. Now, we have mahi here, it's my first time trying it. I am so thankful for Julian from Bike Bait for donating this mahi that he caught out when we were offshore. I lost a couple, but I just had the worst luck out there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it in front of the screen, show you guys the insides, the texture, the color, all the stuff like that. And then I'm gonna try it and give you my personal opinion on this fish. Let me show you the inside right now. Here is the mahi, look at that color. I mean, that is just a beautiful color that I got. Didn't burn it, I didn't burn it, watch the comments. But here we go, here is the inside. Make sure that's in focus. And that is just, oh my God. <laughs> It is just pure, white, tender. It literally looks like chicken, but it's not. Look at that. Look at that slab of meat right there. I mean, that is perfect. That is the piece I'm gonna be taking, actually. So that's the inside. No veins, no bones. They're all cut out. The color is awesome. The smell is really good. So, without further ado, we're gonna try this mahi catch and cook taste test in three, two, one. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Mahi is highly, highly spoken of, and I do know why. This stuff is incredible. It tastes, hmm. The light seasoning, 
I could taste that onion and garlic, very, very slight, but you get the rest of the nice flaky fish. Now it does taste a little different than what I'm used to. It does actually have a little bit of that fishy taste to it, but I'm not complaining. It's something that I really do enjoy. It really tastes good. Mmm. Just look how it breaks apart. I mean, it's just like, it's extreme. The texture, what really makes it, for me at least, is the texture, the chew that you have in your mouth. Delicious. That is going to do it for this episode of Catch and Cook. Mahi was great. I've been wanting to try it. I've been wanting to catch them, and I finally did. So, big shout out to Bite the Bait Fishing. Julian, he hooked it up with a Mahi. I didn't have much luck as he did. But he said, yo, take one and try it. So big shout out to him. Go over to his channel, say thank you. Links will be in the description below. Also, you guys, if you love the Catch and Cook series, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what species you want me to try. Freshwater, saltwater, something that I have not tried yet. Let me know in the comments. I read them all. I will possibly pick your comment for the next episode of Catch and Cook. Also, you guys suggest a lot of videos that I've already done. I will leave some playlists and videos up on the screen right now and in the description for you to check out. Watch those videos. You guys suggest a lot of fish that I've already tried, so check them out. Comment on those. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you later.